Edwards Drunken Party Bead Fest. Really? Yeah, I mean, certainly for metal, there's not much else. You know, there's a couple of pop bands, you know. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, because we don't get much recognition in, back in Scotland. I mean, nobody cares. Like, of course, when we play there, we get big shows. Like, you know, but even the thing is, they're smaller than this. I mean, this is a, a really big show for us. So yeah, so uh, in the UK, it's smaller than this. So I don't know. We we just we kind of forget about Scotland. It's, it's no one likes us there. We're happy with that. It's okay. I think we have actually played more gigs in Canada than we've played in Scotland in our entire career. Yeah, we, we all like that album. I think it's uh, it's definitely our best one so far. I mean, am I allowed to say that? I'll say it anyway, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, everything we want to do. I mean, the uh, production is where we want it to be. The songwriting, you know, it's, we've got a lot of stupid songs in there. It's what we want them. I mean, there's all these crazy sing-along songs, the epic songs, the stupid songs. It's everything we want from an album, so uh, we enjoy it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, you've got to make fun out of something. Why not midgets? I mean, <laughs> one of these days, we're going to bring a midget on tour with us. That'd be amazing. Yeah, when the money's good enough, we'll do that. Just pay some guy to stand here going, boo Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> win the lottery first and then we'll do all this. Yeah, it, it was great fun because like, we just basically said to the uh, video production company, we want Desert Island, alcohol, hot babes, and a midget. It's just the things we wanted and they just provided it. It was like, awesome. Like, I mean, those girls, they were so hot. But then, they, but then they put on all these costumes and the nasty uh, black teeth makeup. They were so incredibly hot in real life and like we dressed them up like, you know, nasty girls. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's... Actually, yes, we have a new video that, uh... I think it might come out tomorrow. Really? Really? I, well, um... We're going to see it for the first time tomorrow, and maybe it'll come out a few days later once we give it the okay. It's uh, for the song Death Throws of the Terror Squid. And it's, uh, yeah, incredibly long, and it's um, set in Antarctica, and there's like a, we're playing on an iceberg, and there's sea monsters, and a gigantic battle between pirate ships. It's, uh, it's going to be amazing. I think um, there was a, a radio edit, which is like maybe 20 seconds shorter than the full thing. I mean, it's... It's it's seven minutes long instead of seven minutes thirty. Apparently that makes a difference. So uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a really good cut. It sounds better than the original, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, ironically, for the shortest song we've ever written, it's got the longest story behind it. Um, basically, many many years ago, we once toured with this band called Gravedigger. And they didn't like us because uh, we're a bunch of uh, alcoholics. Like they, I mean, they, they take their stuff very seriously. You know, it's all about you know big shows, making money for them, and we just wanted to party and drink. Anyway, um, so yeah, after that, that tour didn't go so well for us. It was wasn't a happy time. And then after the tour, in an interview, they called us a rumble combo, which apparently is German for a, a rowdy bunch of assholes. <laughs> So we thought, you know what, fuck this guy, we're going to write a song called Rumble Combo. And so we just wrote this stupid two second song. <laughs> no, I mean, recently I've been working on a side project called Glory Hammer. So uh, I've been putting the Ailstorm song writing on hold for a bit. But yeah, we've, uh, we've actually got songs recorded for Ailstorm that we've not released yet. Uh, they'll be coming sometime. But I think our next big plan is to do a, like a live DVD, just you know, basically put the craziness of an Aelstrom live show on a video just so everyone can see how good it is. Like with all these really high production values, there'll be fireworks and explosions and naked babes and stuff, you know. Yeah, that's our next uh, crazy project, definitely. We will be, we will be coming back here uh, soon enough. Uh, we, have, uh, we have another show booked here, I can't tell you when, but um, you'll know soon enough. I think there's so many things we can write about just pirates, you know, I mean, uh, 
like for instance on our last album there's like songs about travelling through time and you know loads of and, and midgets and things I mean what's that got to do with pirates it's like you can basically make anything about piracy so I, I don't feel limited by uh, anything so uh, I mean the next song will probably have more time travelling time travelling to the future or something or anything you know stuff about ninjas or you know anything there's so many ideas in, inside our heads that we want to get out there so we don't feel limited at all I mean every song is going to be about pirates and alcohol in some way or another that's just our thing that, that song was just a big fuck you to all the people like oh my god Ailstorm oh, you guys suck oh, another album about pirates <laughs> a real place last year um, it got sold and now it's called Taste Buds it's just this uh, little uh, cafe across the road from uh, where we used to rehearse and you can get a nice cup of tea and some uh, candy and a, a little bit of cake maybe a cheese sandwich if you're lucky it was there was no ale there was no meat there was no hot wenches and Nancy is just an old woman who uh serves cups of tea. <laughs> we just uh, like to uh, expand on truth. Get straight, get